fastidious foo here. Today I'll show you how to put in the new RAM and the SSD. I somehow lost the audio on the upgrade video, so I'll be doing a voiceover instead. I apologize for the awkward silence in between. Um, so as you can see, the computer is currently in pieces, as you've seen in my previous video, and we will put the parts back in one at a time. The first thing that we're going to do is put the power supply unit back in. So first, plug in the 24-pin ATX cable, and then get the unit in its proper place. And there it goes. And then you have to screw in the four screws, and I'll fast forward through this part. All right, so now the power supply is back in its slot. Now let's put the DVD drive back in. You slide it in from the front and make sure you grab the cables so that they don't get caught in the way. Hear the clicking noise? That should tell you that it's correctly in its place. So let's connect the DVD drive to the power supply. Grab the red six pin connector from the power supply unit and just plug it into the DVD drive and it's in. Now grab the SATA cables. We'll be using the shorter one. So you see that one side has the grounding wire and this side will go into the DVD drive. And the other end without the grounding wire will go in here, which is a theta connector uh, slot on the motherboard. And that is in. And we will plug in the other end to the DVD drive. Okay, and then this grounding wire we will pull it through this hole and then secure it right here. Now let's upgrade the RAM. I'll be using two 8 gig G-Skill Trident Z DDR4 RAMs, which will have a total capacity of 16 gigs. And speed is supposedly 3200 megahertz. So here's the first one. We will plug it into one of the DDR4 dim sockets and you should hear it click when it's correctly in its space. I'm gonna push it in, and you should see that white tap locking it in. And repeat the same thing for the second one. Now I will reconnect the CPU fan back to the motherboard. So you should see um, next to the RAM, there's a CPU fan connector slot, and it's actually labeled, so it's pretty easy to find. I am struggling for whatever reason, but you just plug it in and it's done. In this slot that you see on top of the DVD drive, we will install a new solid state drive. I'm replacing the one terabyte hard drive the computer came with, with this SSD. So we'll be using Samsung's 500 gig 850 EVO. And you can see how small it is. And we will flip it over slide it under the slot, and align it with the holes to secure it with screws. And one thing to note is that I'm using my own screws that I had at home, because the ones that HP provided will not work with this SSD. If you want to use those, you will need to purchase a mounting block and put it into the slot that the original hard drive was in. And now I'm going to plug in the SATA cable into the motherboard. And it's in, and we will plug in the other end to the SSD. And this side is the one with the grounding wire. And let's plug in the SATA cable into the SSD. And as for this grounding wire, we'll pull it up through this hole and leave it there for now. And then we will grab the SATA cable from the power supply unit and plug it in directly to the SSD. And you can see that it's in. So now we will put this grounding wire under the fourth screw uh, to the SSD. And now it is secured. And you can see that grounding wire is secured here and all the SATA cables are securely in their places. So you're done with the physical replacement of the hard drive. Now we're going to put the graphics card back in. 
we will stick this part into the PCI Express 16 slot on the motherboard. So gently get it in and remove any cables that might be in the way. And make sure the display ports connectors are aligned well on the outside and push it in. And when you hear that clicking noise, it is in its place. And you can see that the display ports are also pretty decently aligned. Now grab the 4-pin ATX power cable from the PSU and plug it back into the motherboard. Now grab the 6-pin power cable from the power supply unit and we will plug it into the graphics card. So get the cables out of the way and you just plug it in. And now it's in. And don't forget to put the metal brackets back in its place. Just put it back in, slide it, and now it's in. After adjusting the display ports a little bit, we can secure them with the other metal piece. So you can put that in and get some screws and screw those in. And you're done. That easy. You can see the upgraded RAMs and the new SSD. And last thing to do is put the side panel back in, slide it in, push it, and insert the screw there to lock it in.